Good morning, everybody. It is uh, October 19th, uh, 8.27 a.m. The market's going to open in about three minutes. Haven't made a video, a recording on any of my trades uh, in a while. I've kind of taken a break from the intraday stuff. I focus more on, I've been focusing more on the swing trading um, and buying some equities and uh, stuff like that. But I thought I'd get back into some of the intraday stuff uh, for this week and next week. Um, I've got a Lilu challenge account up here. I switched over to Lilu. We're going to try doing this one. It's 100K. It's a Lilu Express. <clears throat> it's a $100,000 account. You got to make 6,000 in 10 days. Um, and you have up to 12 contracts, but we are not going to be trading 12 contracts on it. Um, but, you know, it's only 75 bucks or $77 or something. So I thought we'd give, give it a go, um, just trying to do the futures stuff here. So right now we got the NASDAQ up, kind of trying to orient, orient myself here again with this. Uh, we got the NASDAQ up. Um, we're obviously in a pretty good uh, bull run here in the last you know week or so. Um, we had a breakout, break of this trend line. We got like this down, this is a daily chart down here I'm working on broke this downtrend line, moved above the 20 SMA on the daily. Um, and now I think we've got this 15, 450 in sight, um, but we are running into some resistance up here. It's earning season, so I've been trading that on equities, um, and that's been keeping me. Um, I think that we, the market's going to open here in about a minute, uh, 30 seconds. Um, you know, you you probably want to be buying this, but uh, as you look at the weekly volume profile, which we have down here, we can see the point of control is up near the value area high. Um, I think it might pop above this 15. You know, it might come up here and hit this upper band on the on the daily, um, and then it may roll back over for you know maybe a retest down here. This trend line at 1500. So the market just opened, popping up. We can see Delta moving up here. It's over this. I might buy on that. Pops back up on that. They <clears throat> want to come up and test, you know, 48.7. It's rolling down at the moment down delta is still positive hitting vwap down here don't see delta making new lows so I think if we do break that high, we'll at least come up and try to test 13, 15, 3. I think there's probably 10 points in there. But if it keeps dropping, then it's just going to keep dropping. Maybe down at 15,300, some support. See some buyers coming in down here. Fire's coming. I'm a little afraid it's just going to pop up here and then roll back down. Let me move this up to 39.
Yeah, today could be kind of a rangy day, I don't know. I do think if it can, if it can break this high, it'll pop up to 13. It's wrong. really coming down. see all that selling <clears throat> coming in on it new lows see if that's grab some bears down there we're hitting the 20 sma on the four hour or on the one hour fifteen thousand. a couple up here. Hmm. I can see that if it probably breaks this trend line all you know, it's got this little downtrend line here. This is kind of what happened yesterday, I think. Yesterday we had a pretty decent pullback before it shot up, although it may. Sometimes you can get so focused on the micro. I'm looking at this. If it breaks 20, it may come to value very high. Back up here, retest the highs. But right now, it's just dropping. Coming into a little low volume note here. Oops, that sticker up. I don't need that. trying to see what it wants to do here yeah i think that moves up i don't know if you can see, you can see this here on the five minute that we broke this high that we might want to move this area here this five minute chart could also be the breaking this kind of downtrend line that's going on here minute it's got quite a long ways to go here up at that level I'll keep an eye on it. I might uh, fast forward this here. Um, see if it wants to move back up up here. See the value or the point of control coming down here it's usually a sign that start moving back up and start moving the opposite way
Try and push up. Got the SEC chair talking right now on CNBC. Bitcoin ETF started trading today. Sorry. Let's go with our original trade here. It's going to start moving. Now we're in. Right up there at that trend line. Three ninety on that. I don't want to come up here and test this band, but I feel like taking when you take a break from trading, especially futures, you tend to calm down a little bit. Um, although I probably should have held that for a little bit longer. Sometimes I felt I found myself when I was trading before and I started doing the live streaming, getting into really bad trades. Um, one thing that I needed to work on, which I saw down here, is I could see that price moving up. I should have got in on it down here when I saw this delta coming up real strong. Instead of you know, I can feel it and it's going to trigger my price. Should have just got in on it down here and maybe added to it as we broke the price. So, yeah, I'm just going to slowly, you know, get back into trading these things. So, that's probably going to be my only trade for today 390. Um, you've got 10 days, I think, to make six grand on this thing. So, I've obviously got to turn on this because I get more. Come back up here. So I've obviously got to. Um, you know, start trading a little bit more aggressive, but you know, on day one, uh, I think this will be fine. It's gonna come and hit some distance. Of Let's see what it's doing. Tesla is just tearing it up. They're going to report earnings, I think, later this week. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. 390 on the day. I'll just call it. I'll just take that, and uh, I will be back trading tomorrow. So I appreciate you watching. I think that this thing may have room up to 15. Um, but when you're intraday trading this thing, you know, you're just trying to get these small movements. Um, because this thing could, I mean, it could roll down here to 34, and then that's a pretty drawdown. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Be back tomorrow, man. Guys, thanks a lot. I'll see you then. Bye.